With palm trees, exotic waterfalls, Mandalay Bay is an oasis among itself here on the south end of the Strip. Opening in 1999, Mandalay Bay is actually three hotels in one. You have the Delano Tower, which is next door, which is an all-suite property. The Four Seasons Hotel, which is on the top five floors, which is one of Las Vegas' five diamond properties. And the Mandalay Tower, which is what we're in. Originally built in 1996 by Circus Circus Enterprises, it was part of a three hotel project that included the Luxor, the Excalibur, and the Mandalay Bay. The Mandalay being the nicest of the three. It's now MGM Properties, so let's go take a look. All right, I'm here in the lobby. I'm about ready to check in. Since I have a gold player's card, I always go to the preferred line over here. Um, one of the benefits of having a gold card, I don't have to pay resort fees, I get free parking, and I just got an upgrade to a $950 suite for $100. So that is amazing. Um, you have the regular check-in line over here. Uh, basically, that's for all your other levels of player's cards, your pearl and your sapphire. And then uh, just to the left of that is the Uber, the Bell Desk. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm Scott from Vegas Travel Junkies. My friend Lucas and I are here to start this series of videos with a goal of staying in every hotel casino in Las Vegas and trying to get an upgrade to a suite in every one. Something we call living the sweet life. We've both been coming to Vegas for about 20 years. We enjoy everything that Vegas has to offer. The gambling, dining, shows, and we always try and do it as cheaply as possible. In this series of videos, we're gonna show you the hotels, show you how to get the cheapest rates, give you gambling tips, and show you all the best places to eat. Now, if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you'd like to see more of our content, hit that subscribe button below so we can show you more of our premium content. Now, we just got back from Las Vegas, and we had our trip at Mandalay Bay, and let me tell you, it was amazing. That upgrade to the suite was awesome. We stayed in that two-bedroom panoramic suite. I was able to get an upgrade for $100, and I looked it up. It's a $950 suite. 
Uh, one of the things about having a gold players card, if you haven't been to Las Vegas before, there's many ways to save money. Um, I got originally started with a comp room through My Vegas. Now My Vegas is right behind me. This is a program that uh, MGM has with Play Studios to help provide free rooms, free shows, uh, free food, attractions, not just at uh, Las Vegas properties, but we actually got a free room at Borgata when we went to Atlantic City. Um, so what it is, it's uh, free casino games. They give you chips every four hours. You play the games, you get gold coins, which are called loyalty points or LP. And what these do is give you enough points to get a free comp on a room. We got two free nights at Mandalay Bay. You can get uh, free play, free slot play, uh, free food, shows. So we originally started out with these two free nights through the My Vegas app. And I have a gold players card. And what I do recommend is one of the biggest things that you can do to help maximize your trips to Las Vegas is to get a player's card at any hotel you're staying at. Um, since we're starting with MGM Properties, I'm kind of going to go over their program. They have four levels that you can attain, and actually there's one more on top of that, but that one's invite only. So the entry level is Sapphire. Uh, basically every time you gamble, every time you spend money in a casino or in the hotel, you're going to want to show them your card. And make sure you charge all your food to the room when you stay at a room because this gives you points and helps you earn comps. You'll get free food, free slot play. Um, you go up to Sapphire next, or Sapphire is first, then you go up to Pearl. Pearl is gives you free uh, valet parking, which is nice. Um, and that's pretty much really the only difference between Sapphire and Pearl. But when you get to Gold, you don't have to pay resort fees. You get a complimentary upgrade, possibly to a suite or at least a strip view. Uh, you don't have to pay for uh, valet parking or self-parking and dedicated lines, which is huge. I don't have to wait in line to check in. You have your own line. And you know, I've heard people say that this thing called the $20 trick, I mean, I don't really like to call it a trick. I think it's just being nice and tipping. You tip the front desk person no matter what level card you are, and they're going to go out of their way to try and give you the best deal possible. Uh, in the gold line, though, I do believe that they give me much better deals on suites. I usually only have to pay $100 to $200 extra a night to upgrade to sometimes $1,000 a night suites. And uh, one of the main reasons I like this suite at Manley Bay is that it was a two-bedroom suite with two king beds, bathrooms in each of the bedrooms, and there was on opposite sides of the room, which was, had a nice living room in the middle, which really gave us a lot of privacy. Uh, main draws for Mandalay Bay. Really nice hotel, super clean. I really enjoyed it. Uh, they have a lot of restaurants there, so you have a lot of different dining options there. Uh, nice size poker room with a sports book right next door, which made it nice for me since I'm a poker player. And just a general nice feel. One of the main attractions for Mandalay Bay is the pool complex. They have one of only two lazy rivers on the strip, MGM being the other one. They have a wave pool, a huge complex with a lots of cabanas, and so that's one of the reasons a lot of people go down to Manley Bay. Now if you're looking to get away from all the craziness, it's probably a good idea to stay there. It's on the south end of the strip. One of the drawbacks is that it is on the very south end of the strip, so the only access really is via tram to Excalibur and Luxor, which were actually all built together, so that's why there is that tram. But uh, other than that, you have the airport right across the street. Some people have complained about having noise from planes taking off and landing. I didn't notice it myself. Uh, but aside from that, I really like the hotel. I think a lot of people tend to forget about it because it is on the south end of the Strip. But I, I do think that even though the shooting happened, I think all the stigma from that's gone. And I think it's just a really nice place to stay. Uh, I do recommend that you try and do this My Vegas app if you're going to stay at an MGM property. And make sure you get that player's card because it's really going to maximize your stay. I will go over many more of these tricks and tips that will help you get the most and do Vegas on the cheap. And uh, if you liked, please hit the like button below and uh, hit that subscribe button so you can see all of our premium content. And we look forward to seeing you again.